In this video, I'm gonna show you not only how you can straighten your pictures, but how you can bend the perspective from which they were shot. So you can go from this to this using the guided transform tool in Adobe Lightroom. This tool is also super helpful for product photography. So you can get these impossibly straight on shots by changing the perspective. If you're a mere mortal who has to take a picture of a building from the ground, but you want to make it look like one of those architectural drawing elevation pictures with perfectly straight edges, you can do it with the guided transform tool in Adobe Lightroom. My name is Nicholas Johnson, and this is the Space Warehouse. I'm going to go over two instances where this tool is just crazy powerful, and that is product photography and architecture. It's obviously useful in way more instances than these, but you'll be able to extrapolate from what I'm showing you here. I'm gonna start with the entrance to Galaxy's Edge in Disney World. There's this really cool logo on top of this concrete entrance, but it's really high up in the air. So when you take a picture of it, your camera's faced up and your perspective is off. And so it looks like this. It's still a pretty cool picture, but using this tool, you can make it look like this. You can make it look as if you're on a scaffold, even height with the building. So I'm gonna show you how. First of all, I'm gonna hit reset so you know that I'm not faking anything here. In Lightroom, go to the develop module. And then you're just gonna scroll down. First thing you should do is enable profile correction because this, this can't fix like the round effect of your lens, but enabling profile corrections actually will. And then just below that is the transform module. And we're gonna use guided. All you have to do is find any straight edges that you want to be perfectly up and down and perfectly horizontal. You're gonna click and drag a line out and just follow the edges. To the side, do the top. It's gonna to start transforming. To the other side, bam, like magic. So you're gonna end up having to crop in a little bit because it's it's gotta squeeze down the bottom of the photo to fix the perspective. So just like that, I mean, it takes seconds actually. You go from this still pretty good perspective to totally straight on perspective. And one thing I wanna note is if you're gonna use any presets, they have their own settings for the transform module. So if you hit a preset on there, it's, it's gonna go back to the original perspective. So you're gonna to wanna to do your color correction and any anything you're gonna to wanna to edit first and do this transform module last. If you're using presets, that's only if you're using presets. This next example is maybe the craziest one that I looked at. There was this kind of cool street art on a parking garage downtown Orlando. The only way to take this picture was from the sidewalk right next to it because this tree was in front of it and otherwise I'd have to stand in the street. Across the street there wasn't there's no way to get into the building to like go high up to take this photo. So this was the only place I could stand to take this picture and obviously that's I mean, it's, it's cool to remember the thing you saw, but it's definitely not something you could, I don't know, use or whatever. If, let's say you wanna print this out and stick it on your wall, but with this tool, again, go to the develop module, transform guided, follow some of the lines that should be straight. These bricks are good because bricks are pretty straight. And if you just kinda of like frame out the thing that you're trying to straighten, it has this, it's super dramatic, the change. And then we'll crop up, I don't know, crop the trees out, crop the thing. And you have this straight on picture and it doesn't look distorted in any way. This is actually the way the guy painted it. This is what he intended for people to see, but he was, you know, up on a scaffold or a cherry picker or something. So that goes from this perspective to that perspective and it's just, that's amazing, for street art specifically, this is an amazing tool. If you're gonna make a coffee table book about street art around your city, it's a pretty good idea, actually. Anyway, uh, next, product photography. So I'm selling a laptop. So I was selling an old 2013 MacBook Pro that I just never got rid of for whatever reason when I upgraded. Go ahead and try to take a picture of a laptop from above it and have it actually look square like a laptop. You'd have to be 10 feet away with a long lens or something like that, that might actually do it but that's really hard to set up. So what you can do, is take a picture, you could use your cell phone or whatever, take a picture top down, go to develop, go to the transform tool. Just pick any two horizontal and two vertical straight lines or trace them. And then we'll have to crop just a little bit. Voila, you have this very square picture, much more professional looking than this picture, which still looks fine, but that just looks perfect. I mean, it's it's amazing. 
One more product example, because this actually shows a different reason why this is so good. Let's say you're cropping this in, and you'll notice, if you just straighten it the normal way, if I want to make the bottom super straight, the top is still at an angle, even though so slightly, but you see that the, the top's still at an angle. And if you want to make the top perfectly straight, now the bottom's at an angle, just because of perspective, because my camera was a little too close to the thing. But by using the guided transform, it's not just straightening it, it's actually warping it back to actual straight, which is funny. Poof, now you have yourself a really squared off, the bottom is perfectly straight, the top is perfectly straight. This tool is amazing. This tool is super useful in a lot of ways. I'm virtually self-taught because I went to graphic design school in the 1900s before this stuff was all possible. So I learned Lightroom on my own and I just never messed with that tool before. I didn't realize what it could do. Architecture uh, is the last thing I'm gonna cover. I mean, I guess the first one was architecture too, but like buildings specifically, let's just say someone has charged you with taking the photo of the Eddington Ministry Center Welcome Center. That's fine. Um, this is the only place you can get a picture of the whole building. And aside from the fact that I didn't align my camera very well, but kind of the same thing is happening. If you make the bottom of this building straight like that, then clearly the sides of the building are very much not straight just because of how you're standing. That's just how, that's how single point perspective works. And I had seen this before sometimes, pictures of buildings that are like, like mechanical looking, like you couldn't take this picture. So again, you're just clicking and dragging on any two straight vertical lines and then any two straight horizontal lines. This is probably supposed to be straight across. Poof, that building is straight up and down. Never mind the fact that I had really bad exposure settings, but look at that. That is a mechanical drawing of this building. You actually can't take this picture, but it would be really good to use this picture. You can see what it's doing. The scale, you can pull back and see what it's done. It's almost like it's a plate of the photo that's just, they, it tilted it towards you. Right, so like this was the original picture and your computer will just like tilt it towards you until it's straight up and down. It's just not something you can do in the camera. It just can't be done. But after you crop it, you got yourself a real fancy picture of that building. Super straight looking. Before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after before and after before after before and after this tool is absolutely incredible you should use it my work is done here goodbye don't forget to like and subscribe